why you haven't made this already, I don't know. But stop whatever it is you're doing, get out there and make it. Because it is absolutely amazing. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to G-Rod Girls. My name is Gerardo. Today I'm gonna to be making a smoked queso using the Bradley Floor Rack Digital Smoker right here behind me. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. It's gonna be cheesy, it's ooey, it's gooey, it's mm, just absolutely perfect. With the summer months coming up, you're gonna want this at your next backyard barbecue or whatever next event you're going to. I guarantee you this is a crowd pleaser. Are you ready to get going? Let's go. All right, here we go. So this is really all we need is what you can see here. We're gonna need, uh, this is about one package worth of Velveeta. Here in Canada, they're uh, about 450 grams or about 14, 16 ounces or so. So you need that. It's all cubed up just to make it easier for me. I've got about a cup's worth of shredded cheese. I may not use all of this. We'll just see how much fits into this pan and we'll use that, but you need your shredded cheese. I got four ounces of cream cheese in here, just to give me a little bit of creaminess. Uh, I've also got some Rotel. Now this is uh, diced tomatoes with chili peppers and uh, all in like a, in a sauce. We're gonna use all of that. And then this beauty right here, which is just a can of cream of mushroom. Uh, you don't have to use this. You can just use um, sour cream if you prefer or not use it all together. This really is what will give it the creaminess factor. So I suggest you use one of this. If you're not into mushrooms, you can use cream of chicken or cream of vegetables, whatever flavor it is that you like, just you want a creamy base soup to it uh, and that'll help a lot. And then last but not least, I've got some fresh pico that I made not so long ago. I've got it in here. Um, we're gonna just kind of scoop a little bit of that for a little bit of extra crunch. Last but not least here, I'm using a 10 inch skillet. This is just a your standard lodge skillet. Um, you can use a you know, 10 inch I find is perfect for, you know, for a decent sized dip. It's pretty deep, so you're gonna get quite a bit out of it. You can use bigger, obviously you just wanna up your sizes and everything else. So, and this is probably about as easy as it gets here. We're gonna put the cube Velveeta into one spot. I do the same with these guys. So now I'm gonna use the shredded cheese here. Uh, probably not gonna use, well, I might as well. <laughs> probably shouldn't, but I uh, definitely will. So let's just use all of that cheese. Maybe extra ooey gooey. Now I don't want all the juices, so I'm just gonna strain the juices out into this. I don't want it to be soupy, so. Some juice is okay, and the tomatoes are gonna to release some moisture on their own, so that's okay too. I just don't want all the extra juicy juiciness that's in it. And then last here, in terms of what we got for our ingredients, we're gonna use this cream, this cream of mushroom. Okay. All right, so now that you've got your soup in here, I've gone ahead and added a couple of scoops of this uh, fresh pico that I made. This is just chopped up tomatoes, jalapenos, onions, a little bit of uh, cumin, some salt and pepper, and uh, I've got a little bit of lime juice in there as well. Some cilantro. I mean, you can use regular bottle salsa too if you like. It's just to add a little bit of extra freshness to it. You're gonna get a lot of that from these tomatoes here, but I find that doing your own salsa or your own pico is just top notch. So now that we've got it in here, I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning to this all. Uh, in this shaker here, I've got just some uh, Holy Cow by, by Meat Church. You can use your favorite barbecue rub. You don't have to use rub at all. You can just use salt and pepper. Uh, I've got this in the shaker and I don't wanna really put it back in the bottle. So I'm gonna just kind of season the top. Just enough to cover the top, give it a little bit of seasoning. You don't have to go overboard, just a little touch. And like I said, you don't have to use it at all. That's it. This is all I'm gonna do to my queso. I don't add meat to mine because in my household, my family doesn't really like meat in their dips. So if you're not using meat, this is all you need. If you are using meat, you can add whatever you want to it. So you can add ground beef, you can add shredded chicken or brisket if you've got brisket left over. You can also take uh, a little bit of a uh, chili, if you've got some leftover chili or even just canned chili, throw it in here and now you got yourself a chili queso, which is absolutely fantastic as well. So let's go ahead and throw this in the Bradley and let's get it going. All 
All right, so here we go. We've got our Bradley set up here. We've got it heating to 250 degrees. I've had it running for about 20 minutes or so already. I've got six pucks of wood in there, six biscuits. So I've got three pecan and three apple wood just intermixed together. That's gonna give you two hours worth of smoke. I'm gonna stir it up. I'll show you when I get there, but I'll stir it up. So just to kind of keep it going until it gets nice ooey gooey and melty. And that's when we know it's finished. So we're not gonna worry about it too much in terms of time. It is gonna be roughly about two hours and a little bit. Let's get, let's get this in there. Notice I've got two racks here because I'm using a cast iron pan. Um, it's fairly heavy, so I want to make sure I got myself a little bit of support. My water pan is full. Just want to make sure that's happening. So there it goes. It's going to be in there in about half an hour. So I'm going to come and check on it and probably give it a little spin the other way just to make sure it, it cooks evenly. But yeah, we're going to run it at 250 degrees now until it's finished. Like I said, I'll come back in about half an hour, give it a little mix and just keep doing that every half an hour or so. But the smoke is gonna roll for the next two hours or so. And if we need a little bit longer, well, we need a little bit longer, but we're only gonna smoke for the first two hours. All right, so it's been about a half an hour or so, so let's take a peek. Oh, that's looking magically delicious. So you can see here, maybe you can see in the back, cheese is all starting to get a little melty. So we're just gonna give this a little mix and mix it all in so that we can mix all the cheeses together. And don't worry if it's not fully, fully melted yet. It's gonna take a little bit of time. And one of the reasons why you wanna make sure you drain that tomato is so that it doesn't uh, start getting all soupy on you in there. So it'll take longer for it to melt everything else. You can see there's still big chunks of the cheese that haven't quite melted and that's okay. We're still got a little bit of time to go yet. So we just want to mix it in a little bit so it makes it easier for us later on. I'll be back in another half an hour, give it another spin. But I won't show you that. I'll show you that when we're uh, just about finished. All right, here we go. So this was in there for about two hours and 20 minutes or so. I'm going to show you, just going to give you a quick look here. Oop. Very juicy. So you can kind of see that there. Um, it is absolutely awesome. So ooey gooey, I've had a little bit here just to kind of taste test because, well, you got to try it, right? Um, but here it is. So I've added a little bit more of that pico on top, some jalapenos, some fresh cilantro on there, and this is absolutely ready to, to rock. So let's, let's give it a shot here. So hard to not double dip with this thing, but Let's mix it up a bit here. Mm. Why you haven't made this already, I don't know. But stop whatever it is you're doing, get out there and make it. Because it is absolutely amazing. Smokiness, so cheesy, creamy. That um, cream of mushroom that we put in, you don't taste any of the mushroom, but it certainly adds a lot of that creaminess and richness to it. The tomatoes, you can see on here, well, maybe not on this chip. So let me just eat this one. And all the tomatoes are in there. I mean, you can have whatever veggies you want. There's a little bit of a bite of the jalapeno in there from that uh, fresh pico that I put on there as well. And obviously I've added a little bit more on top and it's it definitely comes through. I'm telling you, this would go well on pretty much anything. Throw some chili on there, chili queso, fantastic. Pulled pork, pulled chicken, brisket, whatever. I'm telling you, you haven't made it, go and make it because it is awesome. That's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more of this, make sure you hit that subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content. Coming up next in my series of videos here with Bradley, we're going to be doing three rib cooks. I'm going to be doing three two one ribs, two two one ribs, and no wrap ribs. If you don't know what that is, make sure you tune in for the next few videos here and uh, I'll show you exactly how to do those ribs using your Bradley Digital Smoker. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next Bradley video. Or if you want to see more of me, head on over to G-Rod Grills on YouTube and give me a subscribe there as well. Have yourself an awesome day and go make yourself some queso. Mm.